Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be making the paper dahlia ball. It's a little different from my other dahlia version. This one is a lot more rounder. All the materials and the template will be linked below the video. You will need two letter size paper in the dahlia color you like. And I use regular 65 pound text weight cardstock paper for all my flowers. I chose this reddish color. The first one will have the center fringe four of the smallest size, then two of the second size, alternate back to four of the third size, and two of the fifth size, and a small circle that will be for the stem. The measurements and the quantity will be listed in the sizing chart from the template. The second sheet will have the bigger sets, four of the sixth size, four of the seventh size. I like to work in order from smallest to biggest, so have the sets ready by size. The first set is the smallest and grab the stack of four and curl in each petal. If you feel the stack of four is too thick to shape, you could work in smaller increments. You want to curl each petal from side to side, shaping it like a cylinder. Do the same to the next set and the second set only has two pieces, so it should be easier to shape them. Then to the next size and continue to do this to all of them. Only on the last size, I like to shape them in, but also slightly curl the tips back. Next, go back to the center fringe piece and roll that up and add some glue at the end. Then press the fringes down the center so it forces the fringes to shape inward. Then go from smallest, gently separate each piece and gather the ends from each curl on each petal and press and crease so it forces to hold the ends together. You only want to crease closest to the center. Next, add a little glue on the center and crisscross the second piece on top. Do the same to the other two that are left. Then glue where we crease down the petals and a little on the center and add the center fringe. Then fold up toward the center fringe, then glue the next set the same way.
Repeat the steps again where you take the next size. This set only has two pieces. Press and fold down the petals closest to the center and glue the pair and crisscross. Continue to do this and finish up up to the fifth size. You should finish the first page of all the shapes. Once you have all the first five sizes glued, grab the small circle piece for the stem and poke a hole through the center. Then grab floral wire for your stem, curl the one end, and make your loop perpendicular to the rest of the stem. You can't really see it through the mess since I'm using this natural wire, and you don't have to worry about cleaning that up. Poke the wire through the circle piece and glue the loop and glue that to the bottom of the dahlia we have so far. Then take the sixth size, and there should be four of them. Take each one and crease the bottom of each petal, but starting from this size, you wanna make sure each petal is slightly more open, so unravel the curled petal a little bit more than before, but still fold down the closest to the center. Pair them and crisscross. Then poke a hole through the center and glue that to the bottom of the flower and continue to do this to the rest. Next, get the bottom leaf shape and leaves cut on green paper. Poke a hole through the bottom leaf shape and glue that to the bottom of the dahlia. Then shape the rest of the leaves by just curling some out and some in. Then floral tape the floral wire about a few inches below the dahlia, add the leaves randomly, and floral tape the rest of the stem. These dahlias will be great in a variety of different colors and they pair so well with other paper flowers. Please like this video below and subscribe. Thank you for watching.